Hello everyone, uh, I'm starting my second uh, instructional video. Again, it's geared towards the guys that can practice uh, and ladies inside on their SkyTrack units. So the, uh, the first SkyTrack uh, instructional video I did was on uh, creating feel and working on pitch shots. So today's use of the SkyTrack, uh, as far as instruction goes, uh, is one of the shots that I've worked with uh, many of my my better players uh, that I've taught over the years on how to keep the ball low and hit it um, big distances. Um, so you get into a trouble scenario and you need to advance the ball up the fairway but you're behind a tree and you need to go under a limb or or it's really windy and you need to keep that ball low so it doesn't balloon. Uh, there's lots of different scenarios where this shot comes in and most people realize that if you keep the weight forward and the ball position back the ball wants to go lower uh, but I think there's two secrets to doing this with ease uh, the first secret is to open the club face which is really counterintuitive uh, especially if you hit the ball straight or with a draw or with a hook you need to get that club face open so that when you hit it earlier in the golf swing that it has a chance to get up over the grass in front of you. Uh, a lot of people hit, hit a low shot and they advance at 20 or 30 feet when they're trying to hit it 100 yards. And, and so that little, that little adjustment by just rotating the club face open, um, obviously to the left for a lefty and for the right handers it would be to the right. Uh, that's going to help. The second thing, and this is where the SkyTrack is, is so beneficial, the second real secret to hitting the ball low is controlling the club head speed. Most people don't even think of it. They get tight and they get short trying to hit the ball a shorter distance with a longer club so their swing gets very quick and very uh, tension uh, full. And what we want is a swing where it's, it's looser with an open club face but it's slower. And so I'm going to hit uh, just a few shots um, and I'm going to show you that I have a long swing but the club, heads, uh, club head speed controls the trajectory. So, Okay, so now on the first swing we're going to try and get the ball uh, fairly low but we're going to use uh, our kind of a normal club head speed. So the two numbers to look for are the uh, the height and the club head speed. So I got 81 and I kept it to 20 high. So let's let's back it down and we're getting around the 70 to 75 and we'll see what the height looks like without changing anything but club head speed. I hook everything but that's not a big deal that's not what we're looking at so I'm at 76 it went from 20 to 16 height so now we're gonna keep it even lower we'll get the uh, below 16 and we'll get our club head speed down around 68 or 70 okay but same long golf swing to get the ball out there So our height went down to 10 and we got it down as low as 72. So that shows you as the club head speed and the ball speed drops, the ball stays lower. Not doing anything different and we'll see the swings the same length. Uh, anyways, thanks for watching my video and thanks for, uh, for watching my other videos and subscribe to my channel if you like my instruction.